Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. In my opinion, there is no metal more directly linked to international events than uranium. Today, we're here with one of the global experts, Dev from Fission 3.0. Why do you wince when I say you're a global expert? Of course you are. I don't know, because I think uh, I know a lot, of, a lot of smarter people, you know, um, maybe it's age, but you, you look at uh, how many people really know the supply and demand cycle. I, I believe we're already gifted at um, making discoveries. And so I would say, you know, that's more what I know. Uh, I think there's a lot of people more qualified to talk about supply and demand, those things. So maybe that's just my understanding of what a global expert is. <laughs> maybe, maybe being a smart guy means you're listening to other smart guys and girls and figuring it out. Yeah. Now you're that's more tied good. into the uranium market than am I. Globally, what's going on right now? Well, we had a bit of a lull, absolutely. I think people expected, you know, a lot of uranium price keep marching up to 6570. But there's been a, as we wait for a spot, uh, Peter Groskos, uh vehicle uh, to be listed in uh, on the New York Stock Exchange, which would give him access to a lot more capital. More capital means access to buying, you know, more yellow cake, which drives up all the level of what we have. So. I think that's the problem is right now. So, but people don't see is a beautiful base building. And I think uh, Cameco uh, announced uh, double their dividend. That, that's why people buy the stock. But they said they've also contracted, you know, between 70, 90 million pounds now or under contract. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's a big number. It's huge. And you got to remember the overall market is 180. So they're saying they're starting to see contracts further up. Um, when I started in the business, a very small part was spot, and a majority of it was long term. Right. However, the role of Kazakhstan has um, been there more. They'll sell to you at the spot price there. So they're really hitting bids on spots, which I don't think is wise. And they're now rethinking that. Um, but also, Japan, when Japan left the, the market, <clears throat> I believe the adult left the playground. And so it went to more spot base. But so I think what's happening is we need a higher spot price and that's going to happen with spot getting more access to cash. And the, and the other big sign was I mentioned, like when I spoke to Mr. Getzel at Chemical back in, um, back, it was, must've been September, October. He says, this is all great. We love a higher spot price, but the real, we must have long-term contracts, right? We've got to have them so that, um, that's the underpinning of everything we do. Um, so now that he has that, that's why they felt confident in doubling the dividend. Not that it's what it is, but that was a pretty bullish sign for, yes. for the industry. So I'm just looking at the spot price for uranium. It's been all over the place this past year, it, it dancing a polka. So then let's focus down to FUU, which I always joke is not an insult. It's just the training <laughs> symbol. Uh, you have roughly 270 million shares out. Market cap of forty million dollars. Yeah. For the, in my opinion, the kinds of assets you have should be claiming a higher share price because you have some pretty high quality <coughs> assets. Yeah, but I think yeah, I oh absolutely. I, I think that what people forget is how hard it is to get good quality land in the basin, and yeah. we did it like everybody does. Smart investors buy stocks, good stocks when they're down, but the fundamentals are there. We did that on a corporate level. We were buying assets. People drop land and we grab it. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, you got to get pounds. Um, and so we've got sniffs of a major discovery on PLN. We're drilling as we speak. Right. Uh, and so we know it's, it's an exciting year because we have almost um, 12 um, and a half million dollars to spend this year, which is a lot of money. Yeah. $10 million. And then the joint venture with Traction They've got to spend two and a half million this year, uh, a million at Hardy Bay this in March coming up very soon, and a million and a half on Lazy Edward in the summer. So, you know, we have a lot of money to spend and what makes discovery. But what Fission allows is, is, is a, um, it's a bit of a hybrid in the sense, it'll go up if uranium prices go up, but it's got the advantage if it hits a, run, hits a new a deposit, it'll double and triple. Right. So, in that sense, um, you know, that's not, we're not that far away, but you've got a hit. But we've got, 
you know, absolutely. We've got 16 projects that were handpicked by a technical team that's made two discoveries before. They're looking for two types of models, the old, um, you know, unconformity model like Cigar Lake. and At, at the basement, yeah. <laughs> the, that's the conformity touching or basement hosted like Arrow and Triple R. So they know both. And so I, we're excited. We're, we're drilling. That's what you want an exploration company to do is drill. And that's what we're doing. And it's a pretty big target. It's about a uh, three kilometer long conductor. That's yeah. a big target. <laughs> Huge. And so, you know, you don't have, you know, unlike governments, we can't run deficits. Um, and so we have to be, you know, judicious in how we drill. Um, obviously, I like to do, you know, 50 holes there, but we'll do about 10. Um, and then we'll do more. So, you know, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, which is drilling. And we've got the right technical team. I would put it in there. I would put the ball in their hands before you know, many others. Right. Nobody else made two discoveries before. But, you know, but at the end of the day, the spot price has more of a, you know, out of our control. Um, and we've also had a, you know, the elephant in the room is that we did a financing September. All that stock came trading and the stock was 23, 24. Of course, it's been beat up down to below 15. I bought some. But, you know, but the flow through guys can be pretty vicious, as you know, when they sell. Uh, you combine that with a market meltdown, everybody pull back. <clears throat> and so, uh, but no, otherwise, but th that's the big issue is that we control what we control. And I like the fact having $12.5 million to work with this year. Fishing 3.0, Dev, who's certainly the smartest man in this room. Um, thank you for your time. It's always good chatting with you. Fission 3.0, FUU on the Venture Exchange. I'm Peter Clausey signing off from Investor Intel. Have a good day. Thanks, guys. And I hit stop.